Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on double falsehood and we are almost done with this with this play. Today we get to hear from Violante in Act 4, Scene 2. And then there's really only tomorrow left and then we're done with this one. But anyway, before we get to that, let's deal with this. So poor Violante has now, uh, she's been raped once. She There was another almost attempted rape again by the master of flocks who discovered that she was a woman dressed as a shepherd in hiding. But she managed to get away from that because Roderick came in looking for his brother and Roderick and Henriquez have decided that they are going to take this sort of empty empty hearse and pretend that they're smuggling a body into a nunnery where Leonora has sequestered herself away. And, and that's the sort of madcap antic that's going on at the moment that might make one think that this is a comedy. But there's a lot of other stuff that is not necessarily super funny at the moment. Julio is also not doing very well. He had shown up to break up the wedding of Leonardo and Enriquez and kind of succeeded, but he doesn't necessarily know that he succeeded because he was taken kicking and screaming from that wedding before she passed out and they found the suicide note and the dagger on her and, and all that kind of stuff. So he's been wandering around not doing very well in general, just sort of ranting and raving. We got to see him doing some of that yesterday. And at the beginning of Act 4, Scene 2, he's doing some more of that still around some some gentlemen and they're like you know you need to you need to relax you need to calm down and and he's just sort of raving about how how obnoxious life is at this moment um and then they all start to hear some lute music playing and he's like oh isn't that lovely it's so beautiful it's so calming blah 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 well it turns out that it's violante playing the lute so she's she's singing off stage about how terrible love is and how awful men are and things like that but in a in a beautiful sad kind of a way and and they're loving the sound of it but then once her song is sort of ending she comes in and she's talking about how nice it is to be in nature as opposed to being in court she's not necessarily talking to them it's just sort of making some observations about how out in nature and she doesn't have to deal with the, the trials and tribulations of court and she doesn't have to deal with men um, making making false oaths and things like that and as she's talking about this and 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 you know sort of musing on it and and so on and so forth julio is kind of sort of falling in love with how beautiful this is and remember she's still dressed as a shepherd uh, or disguised in shepherd's clothes and Julio still has his own disguise going on but he noticed in act four scene one that she's actually a woman and and not a man um so he's he's starting to fall in love with his shepherd and, and how beautiful it is and and how it's what she's saying sounds so romantic and Violante continues on to say I cannot get this false man's memory out of my mind you maidens that shall live to hear my mournful tale when I am ashes, be wise and to an oath no more give credit to tears, to vows, <laughs> false both, or anything a man shall promise than to clouds that now bear such a pleasing shape and now are nothing. For they will cousin, if they may be cousined, the very gods they worship valor, justice, discretion, honesty, and all they covet to make them seeming saints are but the wiles by which these sirens lure us to destruction. So she's talking about how false men are <laughs> and, and how she hopes that what has happened to her can be a cautionary tale for women in the future that they shouldn't believe anything that men have to say. And Julio is like, isn't this beautiful? Should I cry now? And look at her, she's crying. And Violante cries out like, oh, false Enriquez, and continues on talking and mentions her own name, which Julio then eventually goes up to her and he's like, you know, are you, you're, you're Violante, yeah? And she's like, you know, 
she admits that yes she's violante and and asks who he is and he says well i am the wrong at julio and the two of them decide to commiserate and she's like you know and i could tell you stories about leonora that would make you feel better and and stuff and he's like let's do that let's let's go like sit in a cave and both be miserable together for a little while about our our lost loves our inability to be with the people that we want and that's the end of act four scene two so particularly humorous for a comedy anyway they have found each other is that going to be a thing or are they going to get reunited with the people that they want to be with is is violante going to corner enriquez and, and make him marry her is julio going to get uh, leonora in the end we will find out tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to do the last monologue of the play and the last monologue of the apocrypha and we'll do a little bit of a wrap up before we then start digging into some sonnets so that'll be fun anyway come on back tomorrow when we wrap up double falsehood i'll see you then Mwah.